Hello everyone. I hope y'all are doing well. Sorry, but I'm still under the weather. My voice is a little, little messed up, so bear with me. <laughs> but uh, is this a 3D printed creature, part 18, building? Hey, 8,000 subscribers, that's great. Appreciate everyone. Thank y'all. Let's get started in building this thing. As you see here, I'm just uh, doing it at a four times the speed. I'm uh, using some glue stick method to kind of keep the, the nuts from backing out and setting up all the linkages. You know, I designed this thing probably started a month ago or so, and I got it built. So that's kind of an achievement, and I'm happy with the results. And as you see here, I'm putting on the linkage to the jaw. And I'm working out all the, my linkages were all correct. You know, I would flip some because I have that bow and that curve. You don't really want to go straight linkage or a straight line because you don't want to have what I call a backlash. But uh, everything is just pretty much set up at one linkage, hook it up to the radio, and do a test movement, see how I like it. Because a lot of them, some of these like uh, servos, you know, the servos do have a set screw where you'll set that arm in place and it's set to that degree. And then, you know, once you get it finalized, it would be time to set that screw in place so it won't never come off as far as the servo horn but in designing this whole animatronic this was one of the main keys that determined the size of the animatronic because usually when you have a lower lip you know it's, i usually do it with a like a cable or something and i'm just trying to bypass that cable and it's kind of bypass that kind of procedure and just do a straight hard linkage and that would mean i would have to connect the mechanism to the jaw itself which is the servo and and i could only be so small with the jaw because of the size of the servo but as you see here i designed this whole thing to have kind of a modular you know design to it to where i have a mouth mech a blink mech and a brow mech and then I'll just tie them all together into one. I'm happy with this design. I have everything moving. I have two brows. I have two upper lips, one bottom lip, jaw and eyelids. And everything seems to be working pretty good. It's just doing the final, you know, little, little tinkering and setting things up. I did print some things for the gimbal and, uh, that's coming later. I'm just trying to get everything kind of set up. I kind of want to glue the teeth in, but uh, just glue them with some glue sticks, something not permanent, so I can, you know, you know, put really good teeth in there. But uh, here's me setting up the the so-called scalpel in there, and it's, you know, it fits well. And then also, uh, you'll see later where I put the I didn't film the me putting the magnets in place, but everything screwed in properly. You know, all my screws were measured correctly, and it, it's worked out really well. I mean, there's some tight squeezes, you know, to where I have to use stats to put screws in place. But, you know, these, these are some tiny screws. M3, there are M3s and M2s is what I've been using. And then I was using some M3 rods and some 256 because I didn't have any 2 millimeter rods. But basically it would be the same. The only con that I have about this project is the 3D prints. My designs were accurate. It's just that the, that when I'm, it's a new printer and it's printing my supports in some of the holes that I've designed and the supports are filling, you know, the hole. I understand that, but 
a lot of the supports are supposed to pop out, but it seemed like a lot of these supports were fused in my holes and I had to drill them out. But once again, I, I'm more about quality. You know, if I design something in a certain measurement, I want it to print that way. And I don't really care about how long it takes. I don't care about color. I don't, I just want my print to be correct. Just made sure all my wire management just went all the way straight through to the next level. Did a lid test. It, it turned out really well. And once again, I want to probably uh, secure these teeth in place so we can get some really movements with the jaw and everything. But everything, once again, is moving and everything's just, the design turned out well. And, and I'll show you here where I, I'll set up some of the blink mechanism. But like right here, I have to make sure, and that's something about, you know, setting all this stuff up, you know, you, uh, you you must always center your servos without the arm zone. But as soon as you get that, you know, set, you're okay. Now, there was one time that I almost uh, turned on the radio with uh, my arm already in place before testing. And I stopped myself and pulled it and that it, it would have broke something. So I was glad that I caught that. Also, when I was setting up the mouth neck part of this, you know, uh, I mounted all I mounted the two servos on the bottom plate up uh, backwards, and I had to stop myself there, and you know, uh, you know, unscrew all those or well, four screws and and flip them back because you know you. You see it as one way in the design, but it's when you're doing it upside down as a flat plane, you're thinking, well, it goes this way. Well, I, I didn't, I didn't catch it until later and I had to re, re, you know, replace those servos in the right position, but here it is blinking and here is the, the testing of the lid. But it really works well. Here's the brow movement. I was happy with the results there also. Now this is with just the RC radio. As you see here, I'll demonstrate how I'm testing these things. And this is just like, I believe it's four cha uh, three channels. And uh, I have, you know, the blink mech. And then I have the outer brow and then I have the lower brow and it works well and then the blink mech is just on one channel that so that's three channels in all but this is the best way to test well gimbal works next so hey appreciate y'all what do y'all think thank y'all for all the new subscribers thumbs up and the comments I hope y'all have a great day y'all and thanks a lot later